morning and thanks for tuning in. My name is Michaela Geis. I'm here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV, just a little bit north of Denver on the east side of I-25. It's called Frederick, Colorado. Um, real short drive from Denver, super easy to access. So if you have, guys ever wanna stop by the lot, we're right here, right on the frontage road. So this morning, I am super excited to take you through this used inventory piece we have. This one is a stock combo with a little bit of a living quarters on it. Um, I personally really like this trailer, so that's why I am so excited to show it to you guys today. This one is a 2018 Cimarron. It is the Lone Star, and then it's gonna have an eight foot six short wall on this guy. So before we get started, we're just gonna go ahead and pull up that drawing, run through it together. You'll see it on your screen, and I'm gonna pull it up here in my papers before they get too soaked. So let's take a look at your floor plan here. You'll notice this trailer is eight feet wide and seven feet, seven inches tall. You're gonna have 18 feet in your stall area. You're gonna have a six foot mid tack. It is that pie shaped, um, but really good amount of storage space in there. And then the eight foot six short wall. So giving you a total floor length of 32 feet, six inches with your eight foot two nose. So a little over 40 feet long. Uh, makes it that's from tip to tail so that makes it a really good size trailer to get around so we're going to go ahead and start right up here at the front um, and i'm just going to go ahead and read through some of the options and upgrades this one has as we go along so i'll just be referencing my papers here but we're going to start right up here at the front um, this one has been upgraded to the two 30 pound propane tanks so you'll notice those are a little bit bigger than what you would normally see. I think we normally do about a 20 pound propane tank. We went ahead and, or the customer who ordered this one back in 2018, went ahead and upgraded that to two 30 pound ones. So lots of propane with this guy. And then I just climb under here and show you guys, I get out of the rain this way. So two 30 pound tanks up above that, we're gonna have your battery box. This is an upgrade as well to put it in that aluminum box. So we'll go ahead and just open this and see you guys get two batteries in here. And then in between these two batteries, you'll notice we do have a battery disconnect switch. So whenever you get parked somewhere and you do, um, you are gonna be not using it, you go ahead and flip that to the off position and just disconnect your batteries. That way you don't gotta worry about accidentally, because this has happened to me personally, I accidentally left a light on in the bathroom in my LQ one time, came out to dead batteries and um, it also was cold outside, so they ended up just dying and having to be replaced altogether. So do not forget to use that battery disconnect switch. It's a super nice upgrade, really convenient. Just flip that off and then you don't have to worry about draining your batteries and having to replace those because we all know they are not inexpensive. And then you're going to have one electric jack under here. There is um, a push button up there for that. So it does run on electric. It also has this uh, manual option as well in case something does happen. That way you can get it up and down off your truck. Mine, when I had my battery issues going on, I would always just plug in the cord to my truck and give it a few seconds and then it will run being plugged into your truck as well. Also gonna have a matching spare tire under here. And then up here, right above my head, is gonna be your hoses for dumping your tanks. So we'll go ahead and move on towards our LQ here. You are gonna have an electric awning out here. We haven't opened it right now because it is a little bit soggy out here today, um, but it is an electric awning. So you can just stand inside, have that convenience of pushing a button, having it come out. Gives you guys a really nice hangout spot with your friends. If you are traveling, camping at a rodeo, pull up some camping chairs and have that awning for shade. And then out here, you also have outlets. So if you were, again, out here hanging out, camping and stuff, you do have an outdoor outlet here as well to plug in items if you are running, maybe a grill out here or portable speakers, or anything like that you, that you do need power for, you have that out here. And then you do have a fold down step on your LQ door here. So it makes it really easy to get up inside as well as this grab bar here. And then before we get in, just notice that it does have a screen door. This was one of their upgrades as well, was putting that screen door on it. So really nice. Again, if it is a little bit nicer out than this, if it is actually summer one of these days and you are hanging out outside, you can 
get some air moving through your trailer without letting in bugs. So we'll step up inside here and kind of check out your interior. This is one of our shorter short walls. It's that eight foot six package. Does not have a slide out, but I think they made really great use of this space in here. I do have, we'll just start here at this table so I can get this out of your way. We'll talk about this really quick. I do have this table up since this does have that sofa sleeper option. They do go ahead and give you a portable table with it since it doesn't have that dinette. So if you are cooking stuff or eating on your couch here and you just need more counter space, you do have this table and it does stow away in this closet back here in the bathroom. So it's super easy, just pops off of there like that. And then you can take this out of the floor just like that. And then it gives you guys more foot space in here. And then super easy to just store it back in the closet. And it does have a strap in here so it will buckle into place. That way you don't got to worry about it falling around. But super easy, just gets it out of the way. So then you do have your sofa sleeper in here. So this is going to fold out into a really nice bed. Uh, plenty of space here. It is long and it is wide. So it gives you two different sleeping areas with that mattress up on the nose and then your sofa sleeper here that also just works as a couch. So super easy to function one of those guys, but really great, again, use of this space for being this shorter short wall. You still do get the two sleeping areas and then your whole kitchen in here. You are gonna have a smaller fridge with this one. Go ahead and check that out. And it does have a little bit of freezer space in there, but I think, again, I see this more as kind of like a weekend rodeo trailer. Not so much someone who's just living on the road, but someone who's just gonna be using it for the weekend. So still gives you a good amount of fridge space for taking it for overnights. And then up above that, you are gonna have a two burner cooktop that is recessed into your counter with this glass cover. I really like the fact that it is recessed into your counter and then comes with a cover. So that way you can still use this as functional counter space when you're not using the stove versus having one that's set up on top of your counter kind of limits what you can really do. So I like this feature that it is flush with your countertop and you're also going to get a sink with this trailer. It is smaller again due to the size of this trailer, but I think just gives you all the options, just a little bit of sink space there, burners and the fridge. And then also you're going to have a microwave. So up here, get you a nice little microwave. So if you are traveling, maybe you go out for eat, go out to eat, and then you have leftovers, store them in the fridge, microwave them the next day, and then have another meal that way. So really, again, I have a living quarters myself, and I just I think these are just some of the necessities to have in it, and it's really great that you get all of that in this trailer. Lots of storage space too, with cabinets everywhere. I think Outlaw does a really great job of just using the space and using being able to put cabinets and extra storage options wherever they can find i mean just using up all the space is really great you do even get one in your step here so and then you got your queen size mattress up here i really like those the um, decor in this trailer and like what they have up above the windows i think those are really pretty inside this trailer and then you do get cabinets like a wardrobe feature up in the nose there so more storage space if you were going to store extra pillows extra blankets sheets comforters anything that you have that you just want to get out of the way and get out of sight you can store it up in there and still have all these cabinets back here for things that you're going to use more on a consistent basis again also cabinets over here lots of storage in this trailer cabinets up above your sofa sleeper as well Lots of storage. And then in this trailer, another cool upgrade that they did on this one was they did do day and night blinds. So you're gonna have two different blind options. So you got this one, which is still gonna let in a little bit of light and get this trailer lit up for you during the day, but not so much that it's just glaring. Then you also have a nighttime shade 
that makes it even darker so it just helps you sleep better if you are at a fairgrounds when you have to park they have like street lights or anything like that or other trailers and stuff that have their lights on during the night it just prevents that from getting in here and allows you guys to get some more sleep that way so really nice to have those on your trailer and we'll go ahead and step back here into the bathroom you are going to have a mirror here kind of like a full length one if you guys are standing out there um, so just nice if you are getting ready for a rodeo or a horse show and you want to check that you got your shirt tucked in and you got your hat on straight all that good stuff you do have that with this mirror here and you do have this separate shower and toilet I, again I know this is a smaller short roll but I really think they set it up super well that you don't have to have the toilet in the shower some situations do that when they do this smaller short wall but again I think they made really great space of this one and then get this open for you guys see if you can't peek in there another upgrade that they did is they went ahead and added a skylight up above your shower here so it makes it seem taller and gives you a little bit more space up there so if you are a taller person like myself you don't feel so crammed in there like you are going to be hitting your head on the ceiling so just one of my favorite upgrades that they will do in a shower like that is add that skylight just gives you light gives you head space it's definitely worth the upgrade get a little bit of a bathroom sink in here and another one of my favorite features in a bathroom is going to be the behind the mirror storage i really like all the shelves in here just for all of your bathroom supplies kind of keeps it out of the way gets off the counter and then this type of space having this on the front too is going to prevent it from really moving around too much so i think you could make great use of that space and a little bit of storage under here for extra towels um, hand towels washcloths towel hook on your door here but then notice this also is a pass-through door to your mid tack which we did see on our drawing that you have this pie shaped mid tack between here and the stock space so great feature here if you wanted to use this as a mud room to get through you can walk step through that outside door there strip down in this space here get off all your muddy boots your muddy jackets your wet rain slickers especially on a day like today we're all soaking wet strip those down out here and then step into your lq right here step right into that bathroom take a shower wash off get nice and clean and then walk into your lq without making a mess in your living space one of my must-haves in a trailer would be that pass-through door for sure for that reason i really like that again especially on today's like today days like today where it is wet outside you're gonna get soaked you're gonna get muddy and then you have that option to keep your lq clean you guys will notice as we step out here this is a pro line by outlaw so what that is is it gives you guys they made these it's kind of like a pre-packaged living quarter setup they made these so that you guys could get into an lq or get into an outlaw conversion for a better price point um for these outlaw conversions are stunning interiors and they are fully custom it is like building your house on wheels you can do anything you want to these guys but they went ahead and made these pro line package deals gives you guys just a couple options to pick from and then get into one of these beautiful outlaws without that price point of doing a full custom so this is what a pro line is again this one was that eight six without a slide lots of upgrades and options on this trailer and then you are going to have your 40 gallon fresh water tank as well as 30 black and 30 gray gonna have that smaller fridge you got the microwave you got your ac you got your furnace two burner cooktop recessed into that counter that space there you got your screen door that we talked about your sofa sleeper upgraded propane tanks that skylight you got flat screen tv in here you got that power awning and then you do even have a hat rack in there up above that door so lots of upgrades to this pro line one of my favorite trailers that's come in on trade and then you have a stock combo back here i personally run a stock combo lq which is why this one caught my eye i think they're so versatile and so functional that you still get your living space with anything you want back here you want to haul cattle you can do that you want to haul horses you can do that you want to haul a side-by-side -side, a razor an atv 
you can do that. This is a very functional trailer. You're gonna have two tie rings out here. If you did need to tie up some horses, our shop can always add more of those. I personally would need more than that, so that is something that could be done here, um, but you still do get two of them. And then plexiglass, we'll notice when we get to that mid tack, it does have a plexiglass storage tray. You guys know on these Cimarron's, they are super easy to remove. You're gonna have this cut out right here, so all you gotta do is stick your fingernails inside of there or flathead screwdriver and just pull those out, run those around to your mid tack and stick them in that storage tray. So I really like that they have come up with that design. It's really functional, super easy. That way you're not having to get out a screwdriver and take off some metal back there and then run these all the way out the trailer. It's just right here, you can do it with your bare hands. This trailer, like we mentioned earlier in our floor pan drawing, is eight feet wide. So that's why you have your axles inside of your trailer here. So you don't have that running board option on this trailer, but you do have that fold down step to your LQ and then you do have a ladder here up into your hay rack. I believe this one is, let me just confirm, it is a six foot hay rack with that sheeted sides and the sheeted front. So it does offer some protection there from the wind and the rain if you were to store stuff up there. But knowing that it is a hay rack, you will have to strap things down. Um, but it still gives you more space up there to store stuff, hay, shavings, any extra totes, you can put them up there, strap them down. And then you have this bolt on ladder to get up there. So let's go ahead and step around to this stock space and check out what this looks like back here. You are just gonna get one full swing gate back here. It's gonna open up the whole back of this trailer for you guys. Also has that plexiglass that can be removed if you did need some more airflow. But what's really cool inside of this stock space is that this center cut gate here is a traveling gate. So this gate is going to travel up and down the length of this trailer. You'll notice the track does stop about right here. So it will travel all the way back to here and then it will travel all the way flush up against the front of this trailer. So if you did not need that, you can get that out of the way, send it all the way up to the front and just have a full stock space back here. If you wanna leave it where it's at or put it on any of the any of these other upright posts, you can move it wherever you need it. Maybe you needed to load an ATV, put that through your pass-through swing gate here, load that ATV up there, and then shut the gate behind it and then load some horses back here. If you needed to load some cattle up there, shut the gate, load some horses back here. This is, like I said, a super functional trailer. I was really excited to show this to you guys because of all the options that it does offer. It is super cool does have two Optibright LED lights inside of here, so it does give you lots of visibility. So you can see what you got going on. And then you are gonna have this interior tie rail down both sides of your trailer. So it's on your hip side and it's on your head side, all the way up and down this trailer. You can tie up whatever you need, wherever you need, without having to tie on your upright posts. That way when you leave your plexiglass in, you still have these tie rings up and down to load on top of to tie to and then you do get rubber mats inside of this one so it's got this being a Cimarron it's going to have your super strong aluminum floor underneath this and it's got rubber mats on top and something you could upgrade on this trailer is adding that worm flooring if you guys were interested that permanent rubber flooring on top so you don't have to worry about shavings getting under these mats but it does come with rubber mats if you guys prefer to use these and then just pull them out every couple months and rinse out your trailer and then let it drop and throw them back in. Standard insulated roof back here as well with it being a Cimarron. So really nice, super functional stock space back here. Let's go ahead and step around to this head side here. I'm gonna have those same two tie rings over here. Again, we can always add more. You're gonna get an awning light above these as well as on that other side. This trailer does have two 8,000 pound axles. So you're gonna have a GVWR of 16,000 pounds. We did weigh this trailer. It weighs 10,040 pounds empty. So still gives you lots of weight, loading weight, loading capacity on top of those axles to load this thing up with whatever you guys need inside. It's a very capable trailer. Something that could also be upgraded if you're looking to do so. We could change that hay rack out to a hay pod. We can make it a bigger one. Um, just give our shop a call, see what we could do for you. 
And then super cool on this trailer, another thing I really like, again, this is probably one of my favorite trade-ins so far, is that it does have that mid-tack that we showed you guys in the LQ that you could use as a mudroom. So it's dual purpose here. But it is also a very nice sized mid-tack. So you're still gonna get your swing out saddle rack. And then you got that passer door for your mudroom. And then as you get around to that right side, you'll notice you have got your bridle hooks with your carpet behind. It's always great, like we talk about in our tack rooms, to have the carpet back here if you do hang stuff up here, up on here with anything metal. So buckles, conchos, bits, clips on your reins, anything like that. It's not gonna scratch up against that metal. You're gonna keep your trailer nice and keep your tack nice. And then that plexiglass storage tray that I was telling you guys about earlier. So once it does get nicer outside, you pull out that plexiglass, you can throw it up in here, keep it up out of your way, keep it from getting damaged or scratched or cracked or broken. So you got that tray here, bridle hooks here. We could always add more bridle hooks. We could always add more carpet, but really a great functional mid tack slash mud room to get into your LQ bathroom with your swing out saddle rack. And you do get another one of those Optibrite LED lights in there as well. So lots of visibility in this trailer, lots of functionality with this trailer. And still a very user-friendly floor length on this guy. Mine is much too big, so I really like that this one is compact enough to get in and out of places and still have give you so much versatility and options. Over on this side, you're gonna have that city water connection. So if you are at an RV park or campground or hookups, anything like that, you're gonna hook up your city water there and then your fresh water tank fill right here. So go ahead and stick your hose in there, fill up your fresh water tank or hook up to your city water and then your shore power, you just plug in your cord here at your hookup or if you wanted to plug in a generator right there. This one does not have an onboard generator but you could definitely get a portable one and plug it in right there. And then up at the front, this is hiding behind our propane tanks. We do have an outdoor spigot, an outdoor water spigot. I'll let you guys get in there and see that. So we do have, if you did fill up that fresh water tank or you did hook up to city water, you can have that outdoor spigot as well, fill buckets, fill dog water, anything like that. So again, super nice trailer for being a 2018. It is very lightly used, very low mileage. Make sure I got all of our options checked out for you guys. Very well upgraded trailer. This one, so just give you guys a quick rundown of what we do on our used inventory when it does come in. Being an LQ and a horse trailer, it is gonna go through both of our shops. We have got two of them. We got one for chassis and then one for our house side. So our house side's across the street. So when this trailer came in, it went to the acid wash and got washed off. It went to the tire shop and it got a brand new set of five tires on it. So it's got four on the ground and a brand new spare. They're all matching. This trailer came in with low miles, like I said. So all the tires did match and have great tread on them. They were just out of date. So DOT code says within five years, those tires were out by just a couple weeks, but we wanted you guys to have a brand new set of five tires, tires on it. So it is ready to roll. Once it came back from the acid wash and the tire shop, it went across the street to the house side. So what they're gonna do is run through your LQ and just service all of your appliances in there, kind of check out, make sure everything works, make sure everything's gonna function for you so when you do pick it up and go camp in it, it's all gonna work as it should. And then your chassis side, it went and got an alignment, although the tread on it was great when it came, so obviously it was not out of alignment, but we're gonna do it anyways. We're gonna check all your gates, your lights, your latches, your brakes, your bearings, your hubs, all that good stuff and make sure it is functional and safe. Again, this trailer was super clean. There wasn't a lot to do to it. But what we like to tell people is if you're going to buy a truck at a used truck lot and they say, well, the previous owner said it was serviced this many miles ago, but we don't have records. Would you want to buy that one? Or would you want to go somewhere that said, we know this trailer or this truck was serviced when it arrived. Here's your proof that you gives you guys buying confidence. So that's what we do here as we want you guys to buy with confidence. We want you to go home knowing this trailer was ran through by our service techs. They looked it over, they know it's ready to go. And it does, it is gonna be safe for you and your horses. So just so you know that that's kind of what happens here when we do get these in, being a used trailer, 
doesn't come with the warranties but you guys will know it is ready to rock and roll so this one is missing our stock tag haven't got it on yet i was too excited to show you guys this trailer but i do have the stock number i will read it off to you guys if you are interested in this one it is 5u230461 so that's going to be the stock number on this guy it is on our website it will have a stock tag by the end of the day today if you do come check it out but again i just really wanted to show it to you guys so my contact info will show up on your screen if you are interested in this one some of the upgrades we can still do to it or if you want something just a little bit different go ahead and give me a call shoot me a text shoot me an email let me know give me the chance to help you guys out so that will show up on your screen michaela geis 303-918-6367 that is my cell phone call or text whatever works best for you and then michaela period geis at transwest.com shoot me an email again i'd really look forward to helping you guys out thanks for tuning in with us on this rainy wednesday morning i hope you have a great rest of your day